Hi, and welcome to my talk. My name is Sarah Therese Völkel, and I'm going to present our CHI 2020 paper on developing a personality model for speech-based conversational agents using the psycholexical approach. Of course, I did not work on this project alone, but this was a collaborative effort by this great team that you can see over here. Speech-based conversational agents have become increasingly popular, often presented as helpful assistants in everyday tasks. Due to their intended use and conversational nature, this type of user interface seems much more likely to be seen as a being with a personality. For example, Siri sometimes gives funny answers or Google Assistant uses filler sounds such as hmm. Hence, users may unconsciously attribute personality traits to voice assistants like friendly, helpful or funny. According to previous research, Acceptance and credibility of voice assistants are determined by their abilities to be perceived as having a consistent and coherent personality. However, systematically designing agent personalities remains a major challenge. As of today, no dedicated personality model for speech-based conversational agents exists. Thus, most researchers have turned to the Big Five personality taxonomy. The Big Five taxonomy is the most predominant model for describing human personality in psychology. This model comprises five dimensions. Openness is related to seeking new experiences, creativity, and novel stimuli. Conscientiousness describes a tendency to be thorough, organized, and careful. Extroversion is characterized by being outgoing, active, and social. Individuals who score high in agreeableness tend to be cooperative, socially harmonic, and modest. Emotionally instable or neurotic individuals easily feel anxious, depressed, and stressed. Since this model was developed for humans, it remains unclear if it is actually suited to describe agent personality as well. For example, the Big Five dimension of openness might be less applicable or important for agents. Moreover, further dimensions beyond those in human models might be necessary to sufficiently describe agent personality. For example, in previous research, people used adjectives like logical, robotic, or technical to describe a voice assistant's personality. We addressed this gap with the first systematic analysis of personality dimensions dedicated to speech-based conversational agents. We see this as an initial step to developing a personality model for such agents. To do so, we follow the psycholexical approach which was also used to derive the established Big Five personality model in psychology. The lexical hypothesis assumes that since people notice and talk about individual differences, these individual differences will eventually become encoded into their language. The psychological approach consists of two steps. First, the item pool generation, in which unique phrases for describing personality are collected. This is then followed by the exploratory factor analysis which explores the structure and relationship between the items. Determining the optimal procedure for compiling a representative set of descriptors from the entire lingual lexicon represents a major challenge of the psycholexical approach. For example, Norman identified 27,000 personality terms in a dictionary. Researchers have then reduced this number of descriptors by successively excluding unfamiliar, slangy, or redundant terms based on expert and empirical ratings. We developed a new approach to generate the item pool for our model. Inspired by traditional test construction theory, we used multiple methods to collect potential descriptors. In an online survey, we asked 135 participants to name descriptors for a chosen voice assistant in a free description task. This resulted in 228 unique descriptors. In a lab experiment, 30 people interacted with three popular voice assistants, namely Google Assistant, Siri, and Alexa, and afterwards described their personality in semi-structured interviews. This resulted in 176 unique descriptors. In, also, in order to also include implicit depictions of personality in everyday language use, we crawled the latest Google Play Store reviews for Cortana, Alexa, and Google Assistant. We analyze these 30,000 reviews by combining natural language text analytics with manual analysis. This then yielded 383 unique descriptors. Finally, we merged the three descriptor sets together. The descriptors collected in the three different methods show only small overlaps. While 28 descriptors were named in all three methods, 493 descriptors were only found in one of the three approaches. 
we also accounted for the possibility that traditional human personality descriptors may be suitable to describe speech-based conversational agents. Hence, we merged our set with Goldberg's established list of 339 adjectives for human personality. The resulting list compri comprised 870 descriptors. Of course, 870 descriptors are way too many to ask participants to rate them in a survey. Therefore, we refined this list in several iterations. First, we applied established ex exclusion criteria, such as eliminating words which are slang, difficult, ambiguous, over-evaluating, or linked to gender or physical characteristics. In case of lexical opposites, so for example, unfunny or unkind, we only include the positive form, since negations have been shown to be easily misunderstood. We, thought, we sorted the resulting list by word frequency to favor frequently used and thus well-known descriptors over unfamiliar expressions. We then clustered all synonyms together using definitions by the Merriam-Webster dictionary. For each cluster, we finally selected the most frequent and less ambiguous word. In this way, we arrived at our final set of 349 adjectives. We conducted an exploratory fact analysis to reveal latent personality dimensions. You can see here an ex excerpt from our online survey, which 744 workers of Mechanical Turk answered. They rated um, one of the three most popular voice assistants, namely Alexa, Google Assistant, or Siri, on all of the resulting 349 adjectives. We investigated the descriptor set's underlying structure with an expert effect analysis based on the correlation matrix of all 349 descriptors. To determine the appropriate number of factors, we used the empirical Kaiser criterion. We used an obliquely obliminant rotated principal axis analysis for factor extraction. The resulting 10 factors accounted for 49% of the variance. The empirical Kaiser criterion proposed a 10 factorial solution. Most notably, the resulting dimensions do not match the Big Five structure. Comparing instead our 10 dimensions with, to the Big Five model, we find that particularly adjectives from the dimension agreeableness can be found in several of our dimensions, such as approachable, social inclined, and social assisting. Since we focused our work on voice assistants, agreeableness seems to play a key role here, distributed over several dimensions. I will now present you three examples of our dimensions a little bit more closely. The dimension serviceable is described by positive terms, which mostly relate to cognitive functioning and role fulfilling as an assistant, such as informative, functional, thorough, or knowledgeable. For example, an assistant scoring high here is likely to react promptly, provides adequate feedback, and performs tasks in a helpful and reliable way. It is also interesting to note that this dimension encompasses human characteristics, for example, knowledgeable, thorough, which correspond with the big five dimension, conscientiousness, yet also technical terms such as useful or responsive. This contrast of functional and social descriptors appears to be a pattern which can be found within the majority of the 10 dimensions. Two dimensions emerge that appear as independent of an assistant role, such as the dimension self-conscious. This dimension encompasses terms that render a voice assistant as an entity capable of independent thought. While actual artificial self-consciousness might still be in the realm of science fiction for a long time, a voice assistant might create such an illusion in some context. Hence, designing a speech-based conversational agent to score high here likely requires implementing convincing responses in conversation about opinions, impressions, or feelings, or also requiring creative answers. The dimension artificial seems to describe a speech-based conversational agent similarity to humans, for example, synthetic, robotic, or mechanic. Other terms here hint at the technological implications of bringing such a thing into human social context such as intrusive, odd, or abrupt. A conversational agent might score high on this dimension if it clearly presents itself as an object, for example, by a, by a synthesized voice or poor vocal quality. So what are our takeaways here? The fact analysis reveals that the commonly used Big Five model for human personality does not adequately describe agent personality. 
Instead, our descriptors also include terms which are not associated with human personality. Yet, and we want to stress this, we can only provide a first step here to developing a personality model for conversational agents. The Big Five model was not derived from one study either, but was developed by multiple researchers over decades. Thus, we encourage you, other researchers, to validate our findings. An important next step for HCI practice is also to, to derive solution principles for effectively implementing agent personality. Practitioners usually have specific characteristics in mind when designing agent personality. Our descriptors can be used as a communication tool to make these characteristics ex explicit and to discuss the desired personality of a new agent in a systematic way. Hence, if you are interested in further developing our model, please feel free to contact us, us at any time. You may also find additional material for replicating studies on our website. Thank you very much.